hey what's up soldiers my name is greg fps the zombies extraordinaire and in this video i'm going to show you guys how to get the venom x on the beast from beyond now this is the base version no one has figured out how to upgrade it yet and you can't just bring it right into the pack and watch machine and upgrade it so in this video i'm just going to show you how to get the base venom x without further ado let's get right into it all right guys so when you start off you have to do a couple things the first thing you need to do is turn on power for the map if you don't know how to turn on power there will be a link down in the description that will show you exactly how to turn on power and you need to follow that guide and turn on power the next thing you need to do is also open up pack a punch so there's going to be another guide down there showing you exactly how to get the three bridge pieces so you can pack a punch now once you do this you go inside the pack a bunch area and there's either going to be three cryptids that spawn or one blue phantom cryptid that spawns now you want to get a blue phantom cryptid you might have to go in and out of pack a punch a couple times for it to spawn but once it spawns you're going to lead it all the way down until the electric trap which is where the water area is. So basically, you're just gonna keep leaning it down, and as soon as you get out of it, press the electric trap, and as long as the blue cryptid is on the water when it starts, then you're golden. So you can kill the cryptid there, and also make sure you save a zombie because you're gonna wanna save a zombie for this step. Now, this is where stuff starts to get a little more interesting and a little bit more tough. So what you need to do after that is you're going to go back into the room with the drop down where Jug is and also where you drop down to get Neil's head. And you're going to press the third button from the top. Now, right here, I'm pressing the fourth button from the top just to show you what happens when you fail. So you're going to hear a loud buzzer noise. And that means I failed. And a phantom, a blue cryptid, is going to spawn. So here you go. Here's the fail. And a blue cryptid is going to spawn. And that whole thing that you open is going to close. And you won't be able to press a button until the next round. You need to end the round and end it just completely. And then the next round, you're able to do it again because it will open. So as you can see, it just opened because we ended the round. And you press the third one from the top every single time in order for it to work. And it will just close. And that means that you've done it correctly. So once that's done guys now you're getting on to the next step you want to save one zombie and on this control panel you're going to walk the zombie over the pad in the middle of the room and you trap it by pressing square then you run upstairs and you have to press square on the middle computer there's three of them so if you're playing solo you can do e go to either of the computers if you're playing two player the host has to go to the right computer and then if you're playing three or four player it doesn't matter but two people enter the codes at the same time so how this works is right when you activate it there are going to be four monitors around that room that are going to have four puzzles on each it's four mazes and what you have to do is lead the red square to the blue square now what i've done for the liberty to save you guys a ton of time is i got all four pictures so there's 16 total mazes and you have to match up where the red block starts and the blue block starts and you have to lead it through the maze but instead of you know just looking at the picture and doing it i actually labeled exactly how many times you have to move so it'll be like two right one down two left one down one up like that and it's really really easy to follow so that tweet all of those is going to be the top link in the description literally right underneath the title of the video so you just need to follow that and once you follow that you'll be golden it is a little bit troublesome and it is a little bit boring and it's kind of hard to do it did take a while i'm on round 16 here so it did take me till round 16 to do but once you get the hang of it you can do it on a way earlier round and you'll know how to do it right away like um, I've gotten it on round six before so you just have to take the time and you will 100% get it and once you get it and both of all four puzzles are entered uh, there's four total that you have to enter then you get the venom X a door opens in that room with the venom X and you can just grab it for zero points so it is a really really cool weapon to have 
and it's from extinction it's awesome the reload animation is so cool as well and it's just a great weapon so i wanted to make a tutorial because a lot of people were asking me how exactly i got it so i want to make sure to make a good tutorial for you guys on how to do it now if you have any questions comment them down below or you can tweet me at greg fps once again the top link is going to have the pictures that you need to follow in order to do this it is a little tough but once you figure it out it's really easy so once again you have to match it up and using the d-pad you move the red block to the blue block by using the same maze once again it has to match exactly on the picture if it does not match then it's not the correct one and there's one out of 16 chance that the one that you have is going to be the maze so once again you have to make sure that it matches but there will always be one out of the 16 that will match so make sure you guys do that thank you so much for watching hope this video did help you guys out thank you so much once again and if you have any questions just hit me up on twitter and i'll be sure to help you guys out and answer your questions and all that sort of stuff so anyways guys thank you for watching i'll see you all later peace out